What is going on everybody? It's 404 here giving you yet another StarCraft 2 commentary. Spawning at the north location on Lost Temple here we have uh, the Zerg, the blue Zerg that goes by the name of Softball which I believe it is Sin. That's what the replay said anyways. Um, this is played on the American servers so I'm not sure if Sin has an account on the Amer American server so he might be using somebody else's. And down here at the 6 o'clock position we have Root Kiwi Kaki uh, spawning as the yellow Protoss player. And um, I actually browsed through this replay before I, I casted it because um, I was looking for something like epic, like kind of long and um, just something a little bit more exciting. And I think I actually found a really good one here. So we'll see how it goes. Um, it is cross position spawn. So those usually go for, a, you know, a little bit longer of a game anyways. So it does look like Kiwi Kaki is going to be scouting. Uh, let's see if. Uh, Sin decides to pull this overlord over or if Kiwi Kaki even decides to go up there and scout and no he does not uh, However, it does look like Kiwi Kaki is going to scout over in, in the next obvious position anyways and find uh, Sin's location Did send this probe out over here and um, checked this edge for overlord so um, pr Pretty much already knows where his opponent is uh, Sin on the other hand um, Really doesn't have any clue could be uh, cross positions could be um close spawns uh, here uh, it looks like he will be sending out uh, I said he'd be sending out a drone looks like he's gonna go uh, spawning pool before hatch um, just to play it safe like he said he, like I said he doesn't know where Kiwi Kaki is so. a little bit of information on Kiwi Kaki uh, Root Kiwi Kaki that is um, Root is his clan and um, Kiwi Kaki is his name of course he uh, finished um, what was it I think sec second in MLG Riley and third or fourth in MLG DC I'm not really sure on those and um, I know that the recent uh, root uh, invitational he got first in and uh, that was pretty good games that was that was like a couple days ago it was pretty good and actually is this what this is from I don't know if this is what this is from or not I have no idea where this game's from. I just found it somewhere, so. Either way, and Sin, obviously, uh, actually not a Korean gamer. He's actually from Taiwan. And, um, he, he plays for the team Fnatic. And Sin is, like, a very, very strong uh, Zerg player. He has an awesome, like, one base Muta build. Doesn't look like we're going to be seeing it this game, as there is already a hatchery down. Two lings on the way. Going to push out and scare this probe away. Uh, looks like, does... Yeah, Sin still has no clue where his opponent is. This Overlord's going to be coming into range here in just a second. Uh, we'll see these two tech buildings and the uh, Zealot here. But it's kind of funny. Kiwi Kaki uh, pulled his probe over here to the position where he's not at, where he knows um, Sin hasn't scouted. And uh, maybe even kind of tricked him. That was kind of cool. Looks like two links are going to secure both these watch towers. Actually, a couple links here. So uh, this probe uh, is going to go down. Even though it's going to try to get away, it does not. But yeah, it looks like we're going to, you know, be geared up for, hopefully, what I hope to be an epic game. Um, looks like still, you know, pretty standard play um, from Kiwi Kaki here. It looks like two base, or two gas off one base, so going to be taking up into something here pretty soon. It looks like he might be trying to start a wall here and get his expansion out, as he knows that it's a, a you know, far position spawns. Knows it's going to be long. These are, uh, Ling's going to try to take a couple shots over here at this pylon. Trick the Zilla into moving over here so they can get a run by. Uh, however, that did not happen. Um, Sentry is now out for Kiwi Kaki, so there's no chance of any kind of run by for Sin here. I know I'm going to be tempted to call him Softball, as that is his, his name on here, but hopefully I won't. Uh, very good positioning by this uh, Overlord here. If I could hit the right button, we could see if, yeah. Uh, I don't think Kiwi Kaki could even see that with a um, Stalker or anything right there. So, very nice placement. I always like to see nicely placed Overlords. It's just uh, something I like. <laughs> well, it looks like we are going to get the Forge. Maybe a couple cannons thrown down here. Or maybe even just uh, fast plus one upgrades. as uh, That's always a good idea. But hold up. Where is this at? Here it is. No observer out on this uh, robotics facility. However, it is an immortal and a probe. Gonna be, um, uh, if I can hit the right button, gonna be coming out across the map. 
presumably to drop on this ledge up here and uh, maybe get some kind of harassment done. There really isn't anything. Uh, well, there are, you know, three spines here that I think, if there's an overlord placed over here, could get some vision. These two links going to work on these rocks. Uh, four links now. It's just going to take a while. But however, this link, or this um, overlord, rather, is going to be coming up on the high ground to give the Zerg player vision. Probably already saw this drop ship, or, or warp prism, rather. And knows exactly what's going on. Warp Prism turns into the phasing mode, uh, so Kiwikaki can uh, indeed warp in cannons here. Three cannons. Well, wow, I did not expect to see three cannons. Maybe um, one for extra measure in case these uh, Warp Prisms do, or in case these spine crawlers do get into position. But it does look like uh, Kiwikaki is not allowing Sin to root these uh, spine crawlers close enough, as this immortal is just does lots and lots of damage. And wow, Kiwikaki drops the immortal down onto the low ground, and there really is anything here but Lings. Lings are not the best against the Immortal. Uh, immortals are just really, really good. If he had two Immortals, it would just even be that much better. But there are now three cannons here. Uh, able to take out that first Prime Crawler. Force it out. Half the uh, drones here to evacuate because uh, they are in range of these cannons here. Uh, going to drop the Immortal down the low ground once again. Maybe going to take out one of these Queens. There isn't enough energy for a Transfuse on this Queen. And all these Immortals are... <laughs> Not immortals. All these drones do uh, get out of position as well as these two queens. And Immortal is just taking shots at this hatchery here in the perfect position. No uh, way to get a solid surround on that Immortal. And uh, this uh, Warp Prism will just pick up that Immortal if the health on the Immortal does get low. And uh, these cannons are just in a perfect spot. This is really, really good play by Kiwi Kaki. Very annoying. It's very hard to deal with. And while he's doing all this, he has set up an expansion. Uh, has a, a couple auto probes, but that's kind of expected. This is very macro intensive. We look at the APM. Both players sitting right around uh, 175, uh, 200 ish. But Kiwikaki has to be really careful not to lose this warp prism. There is an immortal in there that has not lost uh, any health, I don't think, because just shields and the shields uh, do regenerate. Immortal is all, or warp prism is almost dead, so I don't think the uh, immortal will be able to escape this. Maybe. If he can get in there just perfect and pick up that Immortal and get out of there. Yeah, no shots on that uh, Warp Prism there. Very, very low health, though. Kiwi Kaki has to be really careful not to use that. But the Mutalisk now are out. Uh, the Warp Prism and the Immortal do indeed go down. Uh, actually, very nice micro play by both players. Uh, Sin able to get a uh, expansion up over here during that battle as well. Pulling up the production tab. It does look like we have a Phoenix coming out. Uh, as well as a robotics bay and another stargate. So it looks like Kiwikaki going to respond to these mutalisks with Phoenix as there are no hardly any gateway units out here and these mutalisks are going to be coming in and one Phoenix is not going to be enough to take care of all these mutalisks. looks like what about six mutalisks, seven mutalisks and there's just a bunch of sentries and about four stalkers, warping into two more stalkers and going to try to shoo away these mutalisks but it looks like there are just a lot of mutalisks here coming down to the low ground no cannons or anything down here to deal with these mutalisks. Might be able to take out this pylon here, uh, which would totally rule out the uh, placement of a photon cannon. As you do have to have the uh, power field to place a cannon, but does not take out the uh, pylon there. Uh, back up here, looks like there is an observer going to be coming into the base of um, Sin here. Going to check the gold expansion. Very, very wise. These cannons over here still have not been dealt with. There still is a pro uh, probe here. Uh, observer knows exactly what's up, sees this uh, third base. Uh, maybe it might come up here and see this fourth base, we'll see. More mutilus, plus one uh, attacks on the way, metabolic boost for the lings. Thrown down for sin. Uh, tons of us, of uh, what you call them, uh, Phoenix is coming out for uh, Kiwi Kaki here, so it looks like that is going to be a very, very wise choice. Um, uh, that is until the this uh, plus one gets done for these uh, mutilus here. Uh, the Phoenixes do have the upper hand. In just a straight up battle um, in numbers, I, I should say. But once the plus one does get done for the Mutalisk, it will be, um, I think, dead even. I think the Phoenix is just a couple of uh, more DPS. So it looks like. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, here's the Hydrilis Den. Where is that at? The Hydrilis Den coming down, probably in the main somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Hydrilis going to be really, really good against those Phoenixes. And I don't know why. Um, Sin is going to try to push up here and take out these cannons, losing a couple of mutalisks in the in that exchange there. Wasn't really hurting anything. It's not like you can move those cannons. So I'm not sure if that was a super wise decision. I guess it was giving him vision. 
However, there, uh, there, this probe here uh, does get spotted and it's going to go down, but there is an observer. Like I said earlier, knows exactly what's going on. Uh, looks like maybe the, my 